I love them. <laughs> Let me tell you why I love them. Because this is my policy. Anybody that take the time out to be a thug online and hit you and say, yo, y'all niggas is this, and they taking all that time to type and do all of that, they're a fan. I don't care how they approach it because I'm the type of dude, I don't really be online like that, you know what I'm saying, with the exception of like, you know, once in a while MySpace and I check like, you know, um, Worldstar and all that other shit. I don't really live online. I don't really read a lot of blogs. But for the shit that I do read that, and I, I've tried to leave comments for, I understand what type of hard work it is to leave a comment. Sometimes you got to enter a code. You got to do that. So for the dudes that take the time out to do that, I love y'all, man. Because that means y'all appreciate what whoever you hating on is doing. Whether you say you hate it or not, deep inside, you loved it enough to leave a comment. Okay. All right. Uh, Timberland. I fuck with Timberland. I think he's one... He, he does what other producers should do, meaning that he created a sound that nothing like it existed before he came out. So it's like, you could try to copy Timbaland, but it's going to be blatant. It's going to be like, you know you're copying Tim. Because it's not like, he don't do, like a lot of producers that come in the game for like six months and then fade out, they don't got their own style, you know what I'm saying? Like, the difference between Heatmakers and Timbaland is that our style was so, I don't want to say it was, it was easier to copy our style than Timbaland. So a lot of people try to take our shit and run with it. So we have to fall back and say, let's figure some shit out. You know what I'm saying? So now the shit we coming back with don't sound like the shit we did before. But Timbaland, he put himself in a lane where if you try to copy him, it's gonna look too crazy. So you gotta do your own thing. You can't even really fuck with Tim. You know what I'm saying? Like, I respect him as a producer. Alright, what about the Neptune? I like, when I ain't gonna front. When the Neptunes first came out and they was doing all this stuff, I wasn't, not saying I wasn't a fan, but it wasn't my type of music. But I respect them as businessmen and the hustle that they did, the hustle that they go through. You understand? It's like, I got my likes and my dislikes as far as producers go. And when it comes to the Neptune, their sound was so opposite of my sound that I couldn't really get with it. But I respected them as they kept, they always kept the record in the top 10 on the billboard for like five years. You know what I'm saying? They got on everybody's project. And it was, it, it, there was a team like me and my man over here. And the thing that I liked about them is that you never saw no friction or no static between them. Even though Pharrell got a lot of the limelight and Chad was in the back, they understood their roles and they kept it moving. And it's like, you got to respect that. Even if, I, even if I wasn't a fan of the music, I'm a fan of the way they handle their business. Because it's hard having more than one person to, to work shit out with when money comes in and, you know, if one person's getting more light than the other. Both of y'all can work that out. Then I respect that in any way, shape, or form. You know what I'm saying? All right. Um, Dipset. Those are my peoples, man. When when I say that I mean like I'm not one of them dudes that's gonna come up and and catch amnesia like I don't remember nothing. You understand what I'm saying? Them dudes gave us a chance before we ever even nobody would give us a chance. So it's sort of like I could never say nothing bad about them ever. You understand? It's like you know how some people come up and they get on DVDs and like, yo, I can't do it. I would never do it. You understand? I don't care what they did or said to me. If they ever did say or do something to me, I'd have to respect them as people who gave us the opportunity to be where we at. We wouldn't be having this interview if I didn't do 11 joints of diplomatic immunity. If I didn't do two joints to come home with me. If I didn't do 12 joints from me to you. You understand? So it's like, it's always going to be a level of respect there. Whether we work together or we don't, there's always that level of respect. And they can always come to me and say, yo, I need some shit. Or, you know, hopefully I can always go to them and say, I need you to do me this favor. And it's going to be that mutual respect, no matter how far apart we might drift, you know? Unless for not leave some of uh, the last name we thought there is the hate make. Oh yeah, that's this for life. That's life. that's forever, man. Correct. That's forever, y'all. And what y'all see around me is like, you know how some people have their team and they be like, yo, this is my artist. I don't consider none of these dudes my artists. These these are like this is my family right here, you understand? Like when you say your artist, it's almost like you putting yourself above somebody. I'm not above none of these people. Like, they've they been doing what they doing. They just with me. And if I can help them get to that next level, then that's what we're going to do. But this is family. It ain't... When you think of heat makers, you think of family. If you see me in a club with somebody, you see me on stage with somebody, that's my family. I don't care if we blood or we not. We're family. You understand? So, that's the difference between us and a lot of other people. You won't see us getting up and then we getting up in the game and this dude talking bad about him and he talk, it ain't going to happen. We all been broke. We all had money. We all went broke again. Like it just that's how it happens. You know what I'm saying? He got a rhyme like that, but it's the truth. It's like when you seen both sides, we ain't money ain't new to us. You know what I'm saying? Like me and my man over here, we seen money. So it's not like all of that is we always gonna be family. If we broke together, we gonna be like brothers broke together. If we rich together, we gonna be brothers rich together. So you know, when it comes to heat makers, that's all it is, brother. Plus, you know. Got the Bronx on our back, brother. So we gotta, you know, we gotta do what we gotta do. All right, before we get out of here, is there uh, any last words, anything you wanna get off your chest? Anything you know, anybody got to say? 
Well, man, I don't know, man, man. Shout out. Just crash, nigga, brother. crash, nigga. Yes, sir, crash project. Crash oh, project, nine. nigga. Oh, nine, new it's year, coming. new money. Heat making, thriller, man. All y'all, that's all y'all dudes coming. that's online going back and forth arguing, man, it ain't solving nothing, brother. I ain't trying to be the peacemaker, but you know, it is what this is music, man. We all in here to feed our family, so if y'all gonna handle something, handle it off of the internet, man, and go do what you gotta do like real men do, and then come back and make this music. But other than that, crash, oh, nine, holla at your crash, boy, heat makers. Crash. My man, Cardi Docs. You know what I'm saying? My man, the man. Chris Live, big shouts to my Shake man Rel. My man Rel from Harlem, you right here. This the Rel I'm talking about, brother. You know, yes, put, put the camera on him. My Shoot man Rel. Motherfucking boy, man. Big shouts to my man Thriller, Weather Man, you real deal. And the rest of the Bronx. Whoever fuck with us, we fuck with y'all. And that's real. Easy. Yo, what's the deal, man? It's your boy Austin is representing for them platinum boys, the heat makers. You already know what it is, man. Talk of the streets, DVD, been real edition. Holla at your boy. We in the Bronx house right now with the heat makers. BX. Yeah.